Hey, you guys, welcome back. So, <clears throat> missed you yesterday, but I had a lot going on. Honestly, I've got my eggs in every fucking basket right now, I swear. So, uh, yeah, I was, I was actually off, um, getting a tattoo. <laughs> That's really what I did. I went and got Brian a week. Look, there's like a little windmill. He's real cute. And then we finished like this, that is a little smoke there. Yeah. Awesome. For that part of my arm. I'm really excited. So we're gonna finish the top of my arm. Well, that'll probably be the next year's product project. Because I'm guessing we're probably looking at like four more sessions maybe on my arm. I don't know. He's pretty fast, so. I'm guessing because the bottom of my arm took three sessions, so I'm saying, I think four sessions to like finish the top part. That's bigger, right? I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's what I was doing yesterday. I've also been trying to put together um, my design for like my website. I'm working with somebody on it. Uh, and they're going to create it. But I'm gonna be like, you know, want pictures here and that kind of thing. Damn it. I thought it was on good. I'm surprised. Maybe that'll help. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I have to have a website for new classes because where would you register for classes if I didn't have a website? <laughs> So that's something I'm working on. Um, I'm gonna do, starting, I'm aiming to do one webinar a month. It'll probably be, I'm debating on how I'm gonna do it. It's gonna probably be on a Sunday or Monday. Um, but we'll kinda see how that works out. Right now I'm trying to get my employee hired in the system and uh, build the classes so we're ready to go. I have quite a few classes in mind that I have planned and I'm really excited about. Uh, but just working on the behind the scenes stuff like lesson plans and like I said the website. I'm also working on something else I'm really excited to share with you guys but it'll be a little bit later this year. So just moving and shaking you guys and just fucking keeping going. I want to enjoy like every second while I'm here. So I'm just fucking doing and I'm not thinking too much into things. Fuck it, right? Who cares? I never thought I'd be where I'm at right now. I'm so proud of myself for being as successful as I am. So I'm like, why stop? I definitely want to do more. I have a lot of things I plan. Definitely want to do a lot of traveling, teaching, that kind of thing. I want to open a school one day. So, I think this is a good kind of start to that path. Yeah. It'll give me the experience of seeing, like, what people are like when they come in. and You know, that kind of thing. I'm excited about it. Good things. Good things come to this year. I think 2021 is going to be a big year for me. It really already has. I feel like I've done so much this year already. on YouTube. Wait, did I do that last year? I may have done that last year, actually. Um, it was last year, but we've been working really hard on the YouTube channel. Um, business is growing. I just hired somebody. I shot a gun for the first time this year. Opened a champagne bottle. Got another tattoo. Huh. Fuck. <laughs> Gonna take me a second to be able to fix this. Um, but yeah, you know, I feel like it's a good year so far. I'm really happy with how things have been. That was fun. Now we fucked up. I knew it because there's like a certain point you can spin this thing to, and then it just flops. I knew that was coming. 
I knew I was like close to it, but I was like, maybe if I just do like one little tightening. Nope. Damn it. Okay. I really have to think. So I'm not going to be stopping for a second. <laughs> of course, I'm on like a long stretch when this happens. Of course. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to all the things that we have coming. The classes I'm really excited about. I'm nervous, but like, I don't know. I'm always nervous before I do anything big. Even the other night, I was going to a show with my friend. I haven't been to a show in a while, and I was like, you know what I mean? And it was fine. I'm always fine. I just sometimes like overthink things, I guess. Uh, I really wish I could stop to fix <laughs> my camera. one hand so I need one hand to hold it still so it's in the right spot and the other hand to tighten the thing. It's so annoying. I really am going to get another stand. I've been putting it off. I just keep forgetting. Um, but I know that will make things so much easier because the YouTube stuff I'm not planning on getting as much help filming with. Um, I'm mainly trying to get the filming help with like the webinars so I need like good stands for when I'm like working by myself and whatever. Um, so yeah, it's on the list. Obviously, it's going to be 
open for adaptation. Like, it's not like I'm going to do one shampoo class ever and that'll be it. If, I'm going to do, like, probably, like, you know, like, one idea I had is, like, one class, like, on shampoos and then doing, like, a branch off all whitening shampoos and, like, really going in and talking about different whitening shampoos and what you're doing with a whitening shampoo. There's, like, so much I could really go into the nitty-gritty on, you know what I mean? So, some ideas in my head. I actually have it written on paper. I try to remember to write that stuff down so I don't lose it later. Um, I feel like my mind is just like full of ideas. <laughs> Good or bad, I don't know. But I have a lot of ideas, I can tell you that. Um, so webinars is something I'm working on. I've also had a lot of requests for like mentorships. So I need you guys to be maybe a little bit more specific on what you would want with a mentorship. Like what exactly would you be expecting from a mentorship so I can make sure about doing that how you would like it to be done I was thinking like private zoom meetings and stuff like if we all wanted to do like a haircut and have me watch you or something give advice or whatever we can talk business but if we're going to talk about, like, business, like, you just have to understand, like, I'm not, like, a licensed business coach or anything like that. I'm a mobile groomer that has a successful business that I built myself, and I'd be happy to sit down with you and tell you, you know, how I got to this point, but I just want everybody to understand I'm not, like, a fucking professional business coach, you know what I mean? So yeah, because um, I know I get a lot of people that are just curious about, and then obviously I'm working on that mobile grooming class, so I'll be very specific. Um, but yeah, let me know in the mentorship, like what exactly are you guys hoping for in a mentorship? And that's where we're starting. I'm not doing in-person private lessons until probably mid or end of 2021, possibly 2022, just depending I want to see how everything with the pandemic and everything is going and how travel is happening and that kind of thing before I'm like, yeah, we'll do in-person classes and whatever. You know what I mean? So I'm working on it. These things come with time. I'm just excited that any classes are being put in place for this year. You know what I mean? It's really cool that you guys want me to teach you. Feel very special that you know because I haven't been in the game that long I've been grooming for like six years so I'm not a noob but like I haven't been doing it for 30 years like some people you know what I mean so it's pretty cool that you guys like to see what I'm doing and want to learn from me and I'm happy to share what I know I really do want to work on in-person classes too for like local groomers because to be honest with you guys, I'm about to close my books and I need places to send all these people. I can't keep up. So, it's a good problem to have and I'm really thankful, but yeah. <laughs> I just, I feel like I've been doing so many things, my brain's a little fried. <laughs> but I'm starting to get some clarity. Now that I'm starting to just like put, put some things in motions and starting to put some deadlines on things and putting goals in place, it's less overwhelming. Because I'm more like, okay, this has to be done by then. So that means I gotta do this, this, and this to make sure that it's done and ready, you know? So setting the goals and working towards it and having dates on them really is helping me like my employee's gonna start the first Monday in April so I'm like okay gotta get everything ready for that I'm gonna do a photo shoot that's gonna be on my website 
um, the end of March. I'm really excited, like, do, like, kind of a pinup style dog grooming kind of thing. Something cutesy, and I also just need some, like, basic pictures in my van and stuff so people can see what's on the inside and how that all works and stuff. Sorry for people that don't like people that lick their fingers. That's... I have hand sanitizer. It makes you feel better. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people have, like, their things that they're, like, really particular about. I have my things, too. I'm not judging you, but I'm just saying sorry. Anyway, um... Yeah, that's, that's really been it, you guys. Just, like, photo shoots and fucking tattoos and everything. It's a good time. It's living life. Enjoying it, too. It's nice not waking up and feeling, like, super anxious anymore. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's crazy to me. Like, I think I had to go through, like, everything I've gone through to, like, get where I'm at right now. That's, I'm a pretty big believer in that, and it's crazy, like, because a year ago, I was so broke, and couldn't have had any of this stuff a year ago. I didn't have any of this stuff. I didn't have any tattoos. I didn't have my nails done. I, like, was, I couldn't have afforded any of that. I wanted, I'd been wanting to get some tattoos, like, for years, and it was just, like, I just kept, like, being, like, oh, I want to come in, but, like, I just don't have the money. I swear when I get the money. I swear when I get the money. And, uh, finally I did and fucking booked that appointment and it was just like the best feeling being able to go and get that tattoo done and then working on the sleeve has been so nice um yeah it's funny like I swear how do I talk about this without sounding like a fucking lunatic it's like when like I got my tattoo done I like looked at it like it felt like bright <laughs> Fucking, I like said, I don't know, something like not like lunatic, but like, you know, it was like, oh yeah, like that's what my arm's supposed to look like. Is that weird? It's probably weird. I live on another planet over here, so just forgive me. Also, I've been trying, uh, this is the iced vanilla blonde latte from Starbucks. I, I found that I really like their blonde. opportunities present themselves for me to get there I just take it and I just don't think about it too much and that's been helping a lot overthinking fucking gets me every time so just have to like do things and just like keep going you know what I mean I don't know if that makes any sense if 
I was to sit here and think too much, I think I would scare myself out of ever wanting to teach and be like, there's much more qualified groomers that should be teaching and maybe I could just get them my class ideas and whatnot. You know, that's that's like what I start thinking if I ever think. So I'm better to just do it and <laughs> not think too much. If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's just life. So that's kind of how I deal with being anxious, I guess. I do feel anxious a lot. Like in case there's somebody out there that thinks I never feel anxious. I feel anxious like a lot. I feel anxious right now. I don't really want to go groom this dog. I hate I always get that anxiety like when I go to pull into somebody's driveway, but it's always fine when I get there and I know I'm going to be fine, so I just do it. That's kind of what I've been doing for everything. Like, um, for example, there was like, like whenever I went to go get this tattoo, I hadn't gotten a tattoo in so long that I like convinced myself partially that I was not going to be able to sit through the pain and that, you know, all this shit. And I'm just like completely fine. In fact, I think I sit better now than I ever have. I remember tapping out a lot whenever I was younger and getting tattooed, but now I sit for the whole piece and when we're done, we're done. I mean, I'll get sore, but I'm not going to tap. Um, but yeah, so, I don't know, what a fucking life I'm living, eh? I think about it all the time. I'm like, this is just unreal. Unreal the shit I'm doing. Fucking driving around in a van, grooming dogs and shit. That guy's riding my ass. Fight him. Anyway, I'm at my client's house. I love you guys. Thanks as always for watching uh, this mismatch of the video. So, I love you guys. See you later. Bye.